There is some huge news happening around town and not just around town, but globally on the health front. And this is something that I wanted to share with you guys because this is the battleground that I want to hop on. It's all about health and the poison that is in so many of our foods and what an amazing woman is doing to change that and what you and I can do to change that too. And I got started in this homesteading realm because of health. I saw the food that my mother got post-cancer surgery in the hospital, and I realized this is not about health. And I started questioning ingredients and going down the rabbit hole. And I came across this piece of news that is happening right now, and I want to share it with you. It's Vani Hari, also known as the Food Babe, who is a food activist. She's been a food activist for years and has made incredible progress in holding big companies accountable in what ingredients they're putting in their foods. And right now, we're seeing a huge petition with almost half a million signatures going to Kellogg's the maker of so many different processed foods, but lots of cereals that are targeting children with artificial color and preservatives that are toxic and cause a whole plethora of issues. And we're about to dive into exactly what's going on because you can still take a part of this incredible experience and progress towards demanding change in our food system. Before I get into it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can find more awesome videos related to homesteading and health holistically. Let's take a look at what this is all about. So Kellogg's is under scrutiny right now because of their artificial food dyes and BHT from their cereals. In 2015, Kellogg's had already announced plans, this is like nine years ago, to remove artificial colors and artificial flavors from their cereals by the end of 2018. So nine years ago, they knew these ingredients were problematic. But it's now 2024, and they're still selling several cereals with these artificial colors and flavors in America. And not only that, but they've come up with new cereals with these ingredients. So Vani Hari has created this petition, which is right here, and I'll link this in the description. You can still sign this now to remove the artificial colors and flavors and BHT from their cereals. So this is where we can make an impact, you guys. This is where it just takes these little steps where we're demanding the change. So what are these ingredients that we're really having a problem with? Well, artificial colors are man-made in a lab with chemicals derived from petroleum, a crude oil product. Um, they have been banned in many other countries and they have been linked to cancer. BHT is a risky preservative linked to cancer in some animal studies as an endocrine disruptor, meaning it interferes with our hormones. And this is what we're feeding our children. Personally, growing up, I ate this stuff every single day. And not only did I eat just like one bowl of Fruit Loops or Apple Jacks, I would eat maybe four or five. And you know what's pretty amazing about all this is I ate food just like this, just like the typical American child, and I had to get half of my thyroid taken out when I was 20 years old because of a cyst. Thank God it was benign. But still, this is not normal. So let's just keep reading to learn a little bit more about these ingredients. Artificial ingre colors derived from petroleum may cause hyperactivity in children and can disrupt the immune system. That's going to affect your ability to battle viruses and other issues that come along. But think about the amount of kids that have ADD and ADHD now. And what are we feeding them? Artificial flavors. This is a chemical made from synthetic ingredients such as crude oil or coal tar. 
and it's much cheaper than using real food. Artificial flavors can also include MSG, which is monosodium glutamate, and that is specifically designed to make the food more addictive. This BHT, butylated hydroxytoluene, is a preservative linked to cancer in animal studies as an endocrine disruptor. So Vani Hari is not asking for them to completely like reshape their formulas. And you know why? Because all of these Kellogg cereals are free from these ingredients in Europe and Australia, which banned those ingredients. They already have the formula. 10 years ago, nine years ago, they could have made this change. There's no reformulation that needs to happen. It's already there. There's literally nothing different that they need to do. Check out the ingredient list from this American version of Fruit Loops versus the Australian version. Granted, some of these ingredients are still not great, but they are significantly better than what's over here. Um, you first have sugar as the number one ingredient, whereas here is the actual grains. And then you have the synthetic vitamins. You've got soybean oil, vegetable oil. It's not, this has got the vegetable oil. And then you come down to the natural flavors and these colors, which are not in here at all, along with these other synthetic vitamins and minerals. Why? So we are demanding to for them to just give us the same. And this is a nice little uh, timeline of what they've done since 2015. Back in 2015, they said that they were going to remove the artificial colors and flavors by 2018. By end of 2018, they still sold these cereals with the same ingredients. And not only that, but they came out with new products that contained those harsh chemicals. So they know what they're doing. And yet here we are. So this is the letter that is going out. I'm not going to read all of this, but this is going to the CEO of the Kellogg company, but you can just sign it easily at the very top here. It's one click and then you've added your name. And look at this, almost half a million supporters. And not only that, you guys, but this page right here is pretty awesome because it's got a bunch of articles talking about these ingredients. Now, whenever I look at sources of information, you know, I usually skip over blogs like CBS News and NPR because those could be biased too. But there's plenty of PubMed articles Here's one from the EWG talking about synthetic ingredients and natural flavors and natural flavors and artificial flavors. This is a study about BHT in rats, which showed that there was a specifically a development of tumors because of the BHT in rats. Same thing with this one, lung tumors. And like I said, you can find a bunch more resources that are actually peer reviewed articles at the bottom of this link. So I'm gonna share this. And I know this is not specifically about growing food, but this is because when you start growing food, there's usually a reason why. It could be because you want a little bit more self-sufficiency, you want a little bit of independence from the food system. But when I talk to my one-on-one -on -one clients, almost every single one tells me that they do not trust the food at the grocery. They want to know what's in their food. And this is what it's about. It's ingredient label reading. I'd love to know your thoughts. I'd love for you to follow the link below and join this petition, join this movement. We can be the boots on the ground. You know, I think about the American Revolution and what just individual citizens had to step up to in order to make change. And we are facing a whole nother beast of power and control with some of these food organizations now than perhaps what they were facing back then. I don't even know. But what I can say is that every single voice counts 
And it makes such a huge difference when we use that voice to stand up for what we believe in. So what do you believe in? I really appreciate you checking out this video. Please sure to like and subscribe for more content on healthy homesteading.